wine is a form of art and so we connected with other forms of art such as music, pictorial art, you know, our, um, the uh, art shows or exhibits that I have at the winery, they may be paintings, they may be textiles, they may be sculpture, they may be photography, kind of forms of art that are uh, beautiful. I, I picked the artists. And then, of course, the culinary art, which is another form of art. Wine sort of com complements all these arts. Of course, wine makes a feast out of a meal. It has a way of pulling people together, friends, family, good food, moments of joy. I've brought many artists, you know, and through that, connection is kind of becomes a network that one is connected to the next and so that has been a joy what fun it is to have dinner with Harry Belafonte right or with Ella Fitzgerald or with you know some 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 people that are talented and have a lot to talk about it I'm still crazy enough to go to work every day at my age because I love it and I go there also because like the horse that goes to the stable, it only knows that way. But I love going to work. I love to still find artists to show. I love to find artists that perform for the summer festival. And I love events. I've always liked people. And uh, being home alone is, is hard, you know, because I had so much company with my husband. So it's good again to have company. And we have the same staff in essence today, although the winery now belongs to Constellation. We have the same winemakers. We have the same vineyard, the Great Tokalon Vineyard. And in essence, the same dreams, you know, to make wine that belongs in the company of the best of the world. I was brought here to, you know, I've met a chef, Alvin, uh, when uh, Lulu, Lulu brought him to San Francisco and to our winery. So it was fun to come and see his restaurant. And I had dinner here the other night. 17 courses. I think our Fumé Blanc complements Chinese food very well. You can, with certain things, go on to Pinot Noir and have a, a little of um, uh, there can be a relationship there too. The Cabernet is so delicious, but it's a little more difficult. We've always enjoyed creativity in all kinds of expressions, and obviously the culinary art is a great expression. And we thought he was uh, doing some, ex some sort of kind of a little bit out of the ordinary things, and that has attracted us. Alvin has a very uh, unique and uh, distinctive style, and I think there are uh, there are a number of things that I could I could take back with me. Uh, certainly, some some techniques, some of the molecular techniques, the use of liquid nitrogen, things like that. I could uh, experiment and probably find a little room for at the winery, um, and I might try and make that uh, that goose that we had at uh, Young Key when I get back. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Margaret, just Margaret, Margaret, Margaret. You know, she is a fantastic woman. She intrigued me very much and Jeff as well because I wanted uh, a purpose or a, not a purpose but a, 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 an off, what, do you, what do you call it just an excuse for Jeff <laughs> to come over and visit me and and so you know um, offering the wine dinner here suits that purpose very well. Well um, since this is my restaurant uh, let me explain Jeff is uh, visiting um, Bo from uh, Mondavi and as well as Mondavi wine. Uh, Jeff um, is the uh, uh, the winery chef, I think that's your. I think that's, yes, the I think that's what yeah. your card is. Uh, yeah. So uh, Jeff is the winery chef at Mondavi, and um, of course, he is the expert in doing the food that suits the wine. And I will try my best to follow his advice. So he's doing um, half the menu. I'm doing the second half. Um, the first thing I did was a, a canapé, which is a citrus cured salmon on a pickled vegetable salad with lime creme fraiche. And it's an excellent match with the, uh, the white wine we're serving uh, for the uh, reception. Uh, and then I got the first course. It's uh, 
a beetroot and carrot salad. Um, my style is, uh, you know, I think of it as uh, contemporary Napa Valley, which is fresh, seasonal, and wine friendly. So it's um, some real sort of simple preparations of carrots and beets, um, just roasted beets, uh, blanched carrots, and it's with a citrus vinaigrette, a couple different citrus segments, some arugula for a little bit of spice, uh, pistachios, and uh, some pickled shallots, and then there's a couple of sort of garnish sauces, uh, beets and carrots in different forms. Um, and I'm pairing it with um, uh, my interpretation of beggar's chicken, okay? And this is a frog slake with um, uh, just pa slightly pan fried with the essence of uh, lotus leaf and salt, okay? So I call it a lotus leaf essence salt. Um, so it's almost like um, uh, your chili salt calamari, except this is lotus, heavy in lotus flavor. And to match that, I'm, I have a special pellet uh, with, uh, with rose essence and a uh, golden pin, okay? Golden pin, gum jam, is the primary herb they stuff the chicken when they do bake the chicken. Um, also, I'm doing another dish for this course. Next dish is uh, a lamb duo, uh, some nice Australian lamb. We're gonna braise some shoulder as well as uh, roast some whole racks, and then we're gonna cut off a chop per person. It's with uh, penis, which is a French style uh, chickpea cake, creamy in the middle, crispy on the outside. Uh, then just some roasted root vegetables that are tossed in gremolata, which is uh, an herb, garlic, lemon kind of condiment with olive oil. And then uh, it's sort of a deconstructed sauce. We have some, uh, some of the braising liquid from the braised lamb uh, with some olive flavor. And then there's a little bit of uh, the wine reduction, same wine that they're going to be enjoying, which I believe is the 1999 uh, Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon, which was an excellent year. Um, well, um, I'm doing a final uh, red wine pairing, um, and I'm doing a duck. Uh, just pan fried duck breast, sous vide, so slowly, very tender. Um, and I'm also serving this with a sticky rice, almost like a jong, which is wrapped in lotus sleeve and also um, cooked with the uh, uh, dragon eyes. So it's flavored dragon eyes. And then after flavor this, you know, you get the sweetness and then you got a bit of the, I'm, I'm flavoring, I'm matching this with a, the, the leg of the duck, which has been, you know, braised in uh, salty kumquat. I'm doing the first pre-dessert, um, and that's with the uh, Moscato, right? Yes. The, um, which is, um, I'll let Jeff describe the wine because he's so good at it and he knows it much better than I do. But I'm doing a uh, blue cheese dish that's uh, with a, again, a dragon eye syrup. Uh, you get the sweetness and the saltiness of the uh, of the cheese, um, and also um, that's going to be you know it's almost like a blue cheese sandwich with um, lotus root. So you got this very nice um, texture, and it provide, provides a bit of starch uh, from lotus from the lotus fruit to the blue cheese. So instead of bread, you have lotus root. So now Jeff has come. Um, he was very kind to me when I was in Napa, you know, he showed me the vineyard, you know, he let me go into the cellar and we, I, we, we, we took back 20 cases of very old Mondavi wine, but that, they don't know about that. <laughs>